Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below, let me know what you think. Now let's get into today's video. G'day guys, welcome back to another episode of Crossing the Line. We're going to take a look at this story here. Mr. Beast has done it again. He's back in the news. He's getting thrashed online and attacked for doing a heinous crime and profiteering off of it. Now, Mr. Beast, if you don't know who he is, he's probably the biggest YouTuber pretty much ever. He's a massive philanthropist. He goes around and creates content around YouTube and basically does it by gifting people larger sums of money, donating things uh, to charitable organizations, uh, running sort of game shows on his YouTube channel. Uh, if you haven't heard of him, go and check him out there on YouTube and he's pretty much uh, pretty much everywhere. He's been on the Joe Rogan podcast. He's been on uh, many other podcasts around, getting around, and he is quite famous. And he's quite a nice guy by all uh, all counts. So his heinous crime this time has come to surface over his latest video. His, his video is a pretty big budget. So they get a, uh, it takes me a little while now to bring out each uh, each video. Uh, this one, his latest one, he's done the heinous crime of giving 20,000 shoes to African kids without any shoes. So wrap your head around that one. Um, I don't know about you, but I can't see anything wrong with that. But, uh, you know, the sad little communist tards on uh twitter are complaining so uh everyone needs to apparently listen to them and cancel mr beast people like hassan piker and the serfs have already uh attacked him on twitter but uh mr beast will keep doing his thing he'll keep going and um keep creating content and helping people hopefully anyway because how many times has he been attacked for doing the right thing i don't know uh his last video where he was attacked, he cured the blindness of a thousand people or something. Um, what's wrong with that? I mean, you go around curing blindness in people that can be cured and um, you're getting attacked for it because apparently that's a bad thing to do now. Maybe you should just make a video going around and blinding people with acid or something. I mean... Maybe they won't get upset about him. Uh, get upset with him about that. But we'll take a look at this story here from uh, RobReport.com lifestyle news article. Uh, this popular YouTuber sh gave shoes to twenty thousand South African kids, and the internet can't decide how it feels. The internet, no one like, no one cares how the internet feels. Like us in the real world. It doesn't affect us, you know, like if unless you're online all day scrolling through Twitter, the doom scroll and TikTok and all that, it's which can be pretty goddamn bad for your mental health. Um, no one cares. So a few people who are outraged on Twitter gets blown up into things like now I'm reporting on it, but like all these newspapers have reported on it. Uh, there's a billion YouTube channels that have reported on the same thing. And it just kind of throws it out into this big thing where it was just some blue haired libtard on t uh, TikTok or Twitter that was upset about it and it didn't really mean anything but now um, a few people have uh, raised an alarm and now it's getting all this media attention so we'll get into the story here Mr. Beast aka Jimmy Donaldson may have just learned that no good deed goes unpunished the minted American YouTuber who is known for his elaborate stunts and insane giveaways has copped some backlash of his latest video, which he donates 20,000 shoes to children in South Africa. For hundreds of thousands of kids in South Africa, the only thing standing between them and an education is a simple pair of shoes. The YouTuber said in a video, he added that the children had to walk barefoot for miles over harsh terrain, broken glass and contaminated water to get to school. To help the social media star and his team follow, uh, flew to Johannesburg and met with a charity called Barefoot No More. A non-profit produces footwear from innovative materials that increase durability and comfort. The influencer then flew to Cape Town with 20,000 pairs of kicks and handed them out to students most desperate for help. This is not Donaldson's first philanthropic... Uh, philanthropic sorry endeavor in fact he launched beast philanthropy in october 2020 to leverage his power of social media platform for good and now partners with various charities to uh, tackle big and small social issues the youtuber previously helped a thousand people see for the first time by paying for cataract surgery for instance 
Not everyone is a fan, though. Some Twitter users say Donaldson is doing these things primarily for views and clout. So if you're unaware how YouTube works, the more views you get when you've got over a certain amount of subscribers and video uh, hours watched, the more money you make from ad revenue, people even just you can donate and all sorts of things. More eyes on it, the more money you make. So this is his business plan. He makes a video that will generate a lot of views and clicks and likes and shares and subscribers subscriptions so he can use the money gained from that video to fund the next video just about every cent he spends or he makes sorry on the video he's done previously is spent on the next video or other videos so that's his business model that's how he donates and that's how he becomes a philanthropist that's how he helps people is by creating money making money for his channel and his foundations and whatever else he's got going. And then using that money to make another video, to make more money, to make another video, to make more money, to make another video. So we can keep helping people and creating content and going along those lines. Like this dude, if he didn't go down uh, the YouTube path and become a content creator like that, I'm sure he would have been by now a billionaire in his own right. And he's made probably billions of dollars that he just gives away to people and helps people. Yes, he uses it in his own endeavors to make more content, but that content is used to help people. What is wrong with that? It's like if he came out and cured cancer, people would be upset about it. He made a video on curing cancer. How dare he? Well, that's what he needs to do to make the money to make another video to help people. Do they not wrap their little communists? What are they all communists? They can't all be communists. So they're just going to be stupid at some point. I mean, if you're upset that someone is giving away money, I doubt you'd be upset if they were giving that money away to you. Are you going to do any better with it? No. So Jimmy obviously loves helping people and loves creating content and doing these things. This is what he does 24 seven. He doesn't take breaks. He doesn't stop. You can go and watch his whole uh, podcast with Joe Rogan on the Joe Rogan experience on Spotify, where he gets, he gets down into the nitty gritty about how he does what he does and why he does it. And it's pretty amazing. Just his drive and he's not the healthiest of people. He has some uh, health issues that he struggles with daily and he still goes out of his way and spends probably 20 hours a day creating content to help people. It's not just for his fun and his own gain. Like he doesn't take a cent from it. Like he will use his money for every other video he can make. I'm sure he's quite happy where he lives. He's got a nice house and all those kind of things. But going around and giving people cars, giving people 10 grand cash, giving people you know, houses even. He's giving people houses and islands, uh, pl private planes. People have won private planes, got private planes. Um, going around and giving those things to people that are in need of something is... Even then, he goes into say that, like, if they don't want the private island, which obviously, who the hell is going to... What are you going to do with a private island if you're probably earning $15,000 a year? Uh, probably not much. You won't be able to afford to uh, get there, let alone keep up payments on whatever... Um, state tax you're gonna to have to pay and stuff like that so they can sell that back to him and he'll just give them cash he's not he's not like vindictive like the internet and twitter seem to make out it's like they try to make out that elon musk is an evil evil person who hates people and does all these terrible things but i'm yet to see anything terrible that that person he's he's ever done really and um i don't know what it is it's just sad people on the internet complaining like me but uh, they're just on the other side of the spectrum where they're, instead of being smart and sexy and good looking like I am, they're just stupid and ugly and boring. I don't know. Uh, what do you guys think anyway? We'll keep reading into the story here. We'll finish it off and see where he goes. Not really a charity. Other, Still others criticize his poorly executed charity and failure to see the bigger picture. Band-Aid solutions such as this often attract criticism as major structural issues such as poverty, disease, and hunger, can never be solved by mere act of kindness. We need bigger changes to uh, to the system for that. Giving is still giving, though. 
Mr. Beast has reportedly used paid partnerships to fund his philanthropy. According to Beast Philanthropy, the YouTuber received his first sponsorship deal of $10,000 in June 2017. Gave away all that money. He appears to have established a cycle in which sharing a video about a good deed generates money for another good deed. One Twitter user described in an infinite money glitch. It's Yeah, true. Uh, philanthropy pays for more philanthropy. One thing certain, the millionaire is spotlighting big issues in his latest video has 1.2 million views as of writing and Mr. Beast, uh, hashtag Mr. Beast is now trending on Twitter. And um, it's not just hashtag Mr. Beast is trending on Twitter, it's hashtag cancel Mr. Beast, things like that as well. People are going out of their way to try to stop what he is doing. It's almost like there's a giant conspiracy like a global conspiracy you could say that is getting around trying to stop anyone from doing any global good to help anyone like if um say a certain philanthropist goes out and donates a whole bunch of money to give people shoes or cure blindness they're attacked if someone says um something that might help people or try to guide people in the correct direction they get attacked sometimes even locked up in a uh, prison like a Romanian prison, for instance. Um, if you're outspoken, if you seem to be doing any sort of good, the trolls on Twitter that still exist somehow, even after Elon took over, uh, they still come after you. I mean, if this guy's got his millions of dollars under his belt, he's got obviously hundreds of millions of fans, uh, and he's getting attacked on it. How long can he keep that up when people just keep attacking him for everything he does? I mean, short of him going around and actually blinding a thousand people or stealing a thousand, uh, 20,000 shoes off of poor African children, I'd, s he'd probably get less hate for doing those things than he has done for helping those people. I don't know, but the internet's a pretty dark, disturbing, and sad place at the moment. And um, I just hope Jimmy, uh, Mr. Beast, keeps doing his thing, keeps going the way he's going, and creating content that people can enjoy, and it'll pay for more content and help more people. He also does things like food charities, where he gives out free food. I, I think it was like a couple of thousand turkeys last, uh, last uh, Thanksgiving he gave away throughout the United States, and... People still attack him for it. It's insane. But is that just the internet or do you guys think that this is a coordinated attack against people who are doing the right thing like him and like other people around? Uh, anytime they do the right thing, they get attacked. Do you, what do you guys think anyway? So uh, let me know down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.